everybody. Today's lesson is going to be on interactive whiteboards that work with Google Meet. So there's a bunch of different new ways to join Google Meets. So you can do that through Google Classroom, going to meet.google.com, or using your Google Calendar. So we're going to be in a Meet. Join the meeting first, and then you want to present your screen so everyone can see what you're doing. Now the two options you have was, is presenting your screen or a window. I'm going to do my entire screen. Now one of the interactive whiteboard pieces is Canvas, and you can find this at canvas.apps.chrome. You will see here that I can adjust the size and opacity. You will see other tools like the pencil and the pen and an eraser. So it's as simple as just dragging onto your screen and writing down an equation or drawing a picture, anything that you want to show your class on Google Meets. Now, say if your lesson is over and you wanted to post your picture to Google Classroom. These three dots on the right hand side, if I click that, I can save it as an image and then upload that as a file onto Google Classroom. Another great interactive whiteboard tool that works with Google Meet is called Jamboard. This one is absolutely fantastic. You can pick your different background if you're doing different frames. Anything here, you can clear your frame. You can add pen, eraser, pointer, sticky note, which is great. You'll see I have one right there. Or have pictures as well. You can add any image from that you want from your photos, Google image search. Here's examples of students showing their math. Another one where the teacher reads a story out loud and the kids have to draw a picture of the story. You can do counting by any kind of number and the kids showing their work digital storytelling to help the students learn there. And you'll notice we changed the background here and you can see other students doing some graphing and math. Now how we share that with our class is we come up to the shooter button. We want to make sure that we are in SD20. And we want to copy this link right here. So this is allows editing. So students can come in and you're all working on your Jamboard together in a collaborative model. Now I would control C or command C this and post that on Google Classroom. Now say our lesson is complete. I will come up to these three dots here and I can download this as a PDF. Now I can make this PDF again. I can take all of my notes and anything that we've been working on. It will download as a PDF, which then I again can upload to Google Classroom. I hope these tools for interactive whiteboards are useful for you. It's a great way to show many, many skills. I know personally this is great for math for me. I hope this is useful, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.